Uh, good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. And uh, it's my great pleasure to share my works as a medical uh, medical legal expert in states of UP. Uh, and since uh, in my career of uh, 30 years, because uh, I did my MD in 92 from AMU, <clears throat> since then I'm doing autopsies and uh, and giving the medical legal opinions. What I found, practically, I, I got one uh, thing. There is a death and uh, autopsy has been conducted. The photograph has been taken. The body was hanging on the tree, on the roof, or any place where it was hanged. The post-mortem report comes to the police with the cause of death is a strangulation. They're not defining whether it is a string strangulation, it is a throttling or manual strangulation. And the whole thing is changed, you know. Uh, police personals are coming to me with all the photographs, with the documents, scene of crimes, recordings, a lot of things have been improved. Previously in uh, 90s, we, are, we were not getting any photograph from scene of the crime. Just some photographs were there. But nowadays, it's a, today on this platform, I want to thank uh, Dr. Shyam Bhari Upadhyay, the ex-director of Forensic Science Laboratory, UP. Uh, he has done the marathon work for the improvement of autopsy, medical legal, as well as sexual assault examination. So we are getting the photographs now properly by the police department in our office, in our state medical legal cell. But in post-mortem report, and the, you see, the autopsy surgeon who is recording the uh, postmortem findings in the record, they are just like the love letter of the previous days. What the things are there, preamble is there, then external findings, they write only ligature mark, anti-mortem ligature mark, present on the anterior aspect of neck, seven centimeter far from the right pinna, five centimeter far from the left pinna, and the length of the ligature mark is 30 centimeter into two centimeter. One thing they uh, extend like this one, the underneath uh, tissue is echimosed, or sometimes they write parchment like. But in cause of death, they are writing asphyxia due to strangulation. The photograph is saying the body was hanging. There was trickling, dribbling of saliva from the angle of the mouth against the knot of the victim. But the finding is strangulation. Why I choose this one? Because I might have been chosen some other subjects, other things. This is going in the advancement of the forensic medicine and forensic science. I worked in forensic science laboratory for six years as joint director, medical legal. My message will go to the all forensic medicine people who are working in use of UP <clears throat> and they should learn what to do, not to do. My motive is this one, not to present a paper. Actually, the postmortem 
the med medical people knows it is covered by the six aims and objectives that is identification then uh, time since death cause of death mode of death manner of death and collection of forensic evidences if the autopsy surgeon goes through these only findings point wise then there will be no hue and cry in the court of law in the department of police in the uh, society Um, uh, I think there is some technical uh, glitch from Sir Said. The never miss hanging as a station. Uh, we apologize for the inconvenience. I think there is some technical issue from uh, Sir's side. I'll just have a look for it. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Uh, there was an interruption. Just carry on, please. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, we are by the... So the voice is not audible. You cannot find any strangulation or hanging. That is a strangulation. In autopsy, what happens? The three pair of muscle, that is the platysma and uh, sternocostomusculoid muscles, these muscles are seldomly touch to examine in the post-mortem examination in our state. What happens when we do autopsy, we are just watching the ligature mark and the fluid that is uh, leaked from the nose, uh, nostrils and mouth. And sometimes they become very pathetic and they write, this is uh, strangulation. This is very wrong way. That's why I, I told uh, Dr. Ranjit to give my chances to discuss the difference of strangulation and uh, uh, hanging in, by this webinar meeting. Because in our PMS scenario, we are doing a top uh, This should be known to everybody what not to do, what to be done. Classically, the autopsy should measure the neck circumference of the victim. And uh, in UP, the neck circumference of female, it is 35 to 38 centimeter. And the adult male is 30. 38 to 42 centimeter. That is the average neck circumference. So, the full coverage of the neck circumference by the ligature mark will give the clue for the strangulation. The partially placed neck circumference 
that is less than 35 centimeter, that is 30 centimeter, 28 centimeter, 24 centimeter. And shape of the ligature mark, as all of us is known to us, is found in cases of hanging, antimatter hanging. After that, there is one fashion in our day to day autopsy have had one fracture. Have had bone is the membranous bone. It completely ossifies after 40 years of age. And almost all the 90 to 95% cases where we are getting hanging, antimatum hanging, the age is always uh, less than 40 years of age. So you mix all these knowledges, you find that we are something doing some error in diagnosing the strangulation and hanging. In uh, photograph, the body is found hanged. There is complete hanging. There is typical hanging. It's not a typical, typical hanging from the tree. I will not tell the district, but uh, in postmortem report, there is cause of death followed by strangulation. So, what to do? You take the whole neck circumference, then measure the ligature mark, note down, then the shape must be sketched in the photograph of the PMR report, postmortem report. Then the classical findings of uh, antimortem hanging should be noted. This is tickling or dibbling of saliva from the angle of the mouth against the knot. Apart from the asphyxial findings. And if the photograph of the crime scene is available to the autopsy surgeon, the autopsy surgeon may get some extra uh, knowledge for the uh, completing his uh, inference of uh, cause of death. What happens in the world of crime? I'm talking in the world of crime. The body is hanged by two or three persons or by stupefying the victim or by sedation. So the only ligature mark will be found on the neck of the person. The pressure mark will be found on the neck of the person. Internal findings will be other things. And it may simulate, the lynching may simulate antimortem hanging. And the question arises, how to discriminate this lynching with the antimortem hanging? Suppose you are carrying a fish of 5 kg live. You cannot carry. You cannot carry alone. Like that, the 60 kg or 70 kg human body will not be easily carried to the top of the hanging point. So there might be some sign of a struggle, injury of a struggle on the appendages of the victim. Those abrasion, those contusions, those swellings will give the clue the person has not hanged himself, but it is lynching. Here in a strangulation, there are two things arises. One is hanging, looking, strangulation, and strangulation, looking, hanging. Hanging, looking, strangulation means 
the person has been strangulated not by complete string strangulation but by partial string strangulation but the shape of the strangulation mark will be of transverse it is of 180 degree and the other way the person which has which is, you have got hanged on the tree or in the hanged point and there is a complete ligature mark that is also very fantastic thing it may have been rounded by two ligature one surrounded by one then after one and it is himself he has hanged you will get two ligature mark one is complete circular mark and second is incomplete ligature mark that is uh, u shaped or v shaped or what shape so what uh, i found in confirming uh the strangulation and hanging the role of pressure mark that is the ligature mark is very important it's not necessary that in every strangulation or in every hanging there will be fracture of hyoid greater cornu lesser cornu or fracture of all uh, 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 thyroid cartilage retinoid cartilage required cartilage in you know in ubiquitous hanging there is fracture of uh, cervical vertebra so uh, here just in this short type of our meeting i will uh, say if please always correlate with the uh, photograph of the scene of crime photograph of the victim and finding of the victim's neck with the uh, ligature mark and uh, the muscles must you examine where these are a uh, bruised or not a chymosed or not and that will be great job to discriminate hanging and strangulation where because hanging is always suicide without any appendages injuries and uh, strangulation is always homicide so that's my request to all of my listeners all of my colleagues and newcomers that please uh, must see the crime scenes photograph and the ligature mark then you conclude whether it is uh, hanging or strangulation thank you very much this is my time up